Four months ago, this was the scene in New York City. A cab driver jumped the curb, hitting several people, including one woman from Columbus. Now, she survived, but is still in bad shape. Thanks for joining us at 11, everybody. I'm Yolanda Harris. And I'm Andrew Kinsey. Tonight, for the very first time, they're speaking out about that day. 10 TV's Richard Solomon joins us in studio tonight to explain what they've been going through since then. Richard. Well, Yolanda, Andrew, Maisha Wallace is still in the hospital in New York City months after that horrific accident. And tonight, her daughter and sister told me they just want Maisha to come home. A trip that was supposed to last four days. Now, a nightmare this family has been living with for the last four months. I'm not sure, you know, how, how long, you know, we'll, we'll live with this fear. Kiera Brown and her aunt Carla McCullough live in endless trauma. They're praying for Maisha Wallace, Kiera's mother. But more than anything, to come home. I just wish it wasn't her. On June 20th, the three were visiting New York City. Just after one in the afternoon, a trip meant to create memories turned dark. You know, we're walking towards this milk bar. I think we'd all seen the bicyclist get hit. You know, it was just carnage. Um, a lot of blood, a lot of commotion. The cab jumped the curb, striking several people, leaving three with life-threatening injuries. Maisha was one of them. You know, a lot of the pictures are the aerial shot, but it was much different to, to be on the ground as it, as it was happening. Um, and knowing, you know, that she was under the car and being, I, I, I couldn't even, couldn't even look. Maisha's leg was amputated and 28 surgeries later, Carla says she's still in critical condition. She's been in a hospital bed in New York City since the accident happened. I mean, she's she's fighting. She's trying so hard to to get better in a city. She's losing hope, but she's been here so long, so very long. The two have been back and forth visiting, so Maisha isn't alone. Carla is in New York right now, and Kiera is back home in Columbus. They will never forget that day, but they're hoping someday they can move past it together. More than anything, she she needs to come home <laughs> so that we can, you know, do all of those things and not be so far away. And tonight the two tell me their goal is to get Maisha to a facility here in Columbus where she belongs. But there's no timetable on when that could happen. Back to you.